Hey guys, Nate here, bringing you another t tech tutorial on how to basically change your RAM on your Mac for Minecraft. So, so what you're going to want to be doing is, uh, you're going to want to find your RAM. So how to do this is going to go to about this Mac, and you're going to find it on memory. It's going to say 4, uh, maybe 8, maybe 6, 16. And basically for this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to do 4 gigs and 8 gigs, but I'm going to be telling you how to get this. Uh, links for where well, 6 gigs around, which you're going to be running for 8 gigs, is going to be in the description, and 4 gigs. For 4 gigs, you're going to be running 3, because if you run all 4, it's going to be really laggy, and it's going to suck. So, basically what you're going to do is write your code for the, uh, or paste it from the uh, description. And paste it in a text edit, and then you're gonna save it. You're gonna have it here. So next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get, you're gonna go to terminal. So open up terminal, and you're gonna put in, you're gonna put in cd space, and next you're gonna go to your server, which is located for me right here, and you're gonna press enter. So after pressing enter, you're gonna go back to your server folder, and you're gonna go over here press command C and then go back to terminal and press command V and you press enter and now it's gonna say a bunch of stuff and it's gonna open up your server and this time it's gonna actually open up with 3 gigs of RAM and yeah so that's basically how it works but it's running off a different um, part of it and it's gonna just change everything up so as you can see here we got everything working perfectly all the code going in for the server and it's going to start up your server normally uh and it should work if it doesn't work try doing it again try to keeping this make sure to get this exact code that i provide in the description and we're just going to wait i'm going to pause it and then unpause it when this is over and i'll i'll go on to minecraft to just show you that it works so well, guys i'm resuming it right now and i'm just logging on to ftb and you'll see that it's, uh, I'll show you the server right now, since we're waiting for this Mojang logo to go away. Uh, it all loaded up fine. The entire server is on correctly. Uh, everything on terminal should be out now all working good. Everything should be fine. And when we return back to launch frame, or this one, uh, after it's finished with launch frame, this is how you know when it's finished. It will s say something at the end. If you're just wondering why it's taking so long, it's because it has to register everything through um, FTB Ultimate. It can take a while, but uh, it's just depending on your computer. And yeah, so that's kind of why that. And now that it's finished, you can go to multiplayer, and I can join my server. If you're wondering if you can actually join it, it should run better. If it doesn't, I, from what I've seen, I know that it, it runs smoother. I've already tried it like this before, but I took it off for the sake of the video and yeah so logging into my server and even with recording it should look all right i'm not sure uh just logging in all right so around my server so yeah it does run smoother runs um runs really nice got some tomb craft stuff that my friend has been building this little room i'll give you a quick little tour uh, en enchantment table stuff, and yeah, it does run smoother. So yeah, and this is a diamond. If you're wondering what that is, this is a diamond uh, chest. It's pretty cool. Anvil, all that good stuff. Anyways, guys, if this helped you, and you're now, I mean, I should do another tutorial today because I feel like it. And if this did help you, make sure to, to subscribe for more videos and uh for more tutorials because lately I, I like to do tutorials especially on minecraft um i'm not sure what my next one will be but anyways guys bye so.